If we talk about well-aging, we need to define what that actually means. And while this definition will be slightly different for everyone, there are a few key components that are part of the aging process that we all need to be aware of. After all, aging happens to all of us every day. It isn't that we have a choice. So which main problems do we face while aging? Let's talk. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. Despite my love for skincare, I'm not going to talk about changes in your face, and I'm not even going to mention UV damage as the main factor of external aging today. No? We will start with another physical change. Age-related loss of muscle mass. If you ever have been bedridden over a longer period of time, you know how quickly you lose muscle mass even as a young person. It is a use-it-or-lose-it situation, no matter your age. Once you reach your 30s, though, your muscle mass starts to decline by around 1% per year, even if your activity levels stay the same, which at first doesn't sound too much, but it adds up. By the age of 70, you'd have lost around 40% of what you had before. Depending on which level of physical fitness you started from, that might mean your ability to be mobile and active could be severely hindered. The medical term for this is sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is a syndrome characterized by progressive and generalized loss of skeletal muscle mass and strength, and it is strictly correlated with physical disability, poor quality of life, a higher risk for needing institutionalized care, and death. Risk factors for sarcopenia include age, gender, with women having a higher risk, and level of physical activity. So you see, loss in muscle isn't only a cosmetic problem making you look less ripped, no, your muscles are important for keeping you mobile and for keeping your balance. The less muscle you have, the bigger your risk of falling. Which leads me to the next physical change, age-related loss of bone density. Again, losing a defined amount of bone mass around 1% a year is considered normal once you are in your 40s. It means that over time your bones do break more easily, which puts you more at risk from falling. Bone density isn't everything, though, and the bone structure plays a huge role in how well your bones hold up, too. If you lose more bone mass than that, or if your bone structure is weak, or if both occurs, you are at risk for osteoporosis, the medical terms for bones that don't hold up as well as they should, and in the end stage can break even if there was no relevant trauma, for example, simply from the weight of your body when you're sitting. This is again not a cosmetic problem, but very much affects your quality of life and your means to stay active. Age-related loss of brain tissue. The next thing you lose is brain volume and weight, around about 5% for each decade after 40, which isn't per se a problem, as when it comes to the brain size truly doesn't matter, but still we see a decline in memory function and an increased risk of dementia with age. There are several possible explanations for that, like vascular damage, cell death, changes in the transmitter systems of the brain, and changes in the neural structure, and further studies are needed to get a better understanding. But what we can say right now is that we again have a use it or lose it situation. Our brain is able to remodel and rebuild up until old age, so exposing ourselves to new concepts and tasks will help keep us mentally flexible. I will touch on that in my upcoming video on meditation. Age-related increase in deadly diseases. Age is the primary risk factor for many chronic diseases like cardiovascular diseases, metabolic diseases, or cancer. Again, there are several possible explanations, one being a systemic inflammation of unknown origin, another being changes in the cell we produce or accumulated damage done to the DNA. This is certainly not something we can counteract completely by living a healthy lifestyle, but a risk that inherently comes with aging and affects something we call the burden of disease, or the amount of years lost living in an ideal healthy state until old age as opposed to living with health implications due to health issues. Age-related loneliness and depression. This might sound like an afterthought, but is actually not. With an increased awareness for mental health also came an increased awareness of mental health issues in the elderly, with depression being identified as a major problem. But even if we look beyond depression as a medical term, as we age we often experience loneliness due to divorce, death and the children moving out, and this age-related loneliness seems to increase the risk for early mortality as much as obesity does. Same goes for a low purpose in life, with people reporting a low purpose of life being twice as likely to die within the next 
next five years, then those supporting a high level of purpose. These are quite a few things we need to be aware of, and we will go into the individual points more over time. But right now, I would love to know which ones you are already aware of and which ones are new to you. I admit the last one wasn't really on my mind before I started looking into the topic of well aging. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and it links to my Instagram, blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.